Hello everybody, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we're dealing with the application known as TikTok. And yes, this is becoming a bit of a trend at this point, but my friends, this is a case of where... <laughs> it's just insane. This is one of the most insane things that I've ever seen on this application. TikTok is no known for not being, you know, the most sane apps, but boy, oh boy, this is just ridiculous. So allow me, my friends, to introduce to you the subject of today's video. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is Ashley Solves Mysteries. But in my personal, you know, uh, headcanon, I like to know this person as Ashley Creates Mysteries. Because this person, well, how do I say it to, you know, avoid YouTube TOS strikes? Uh, well, this person's a little bit, uh, nutty. She is on the, on the nutty side because, well, allow me to play a TikTok of hers and, and, and give you the background to what we're talking about today. People keep asking, where did Rebecca Schofield come from? Like... How did I get her name? No, I do not just get random names. I typically don't get random names in my readings. The spirit said it was a teacher involved in the murders when I was doing the reading. And by spirit, I mean my inner spirit. My inner spirit that's not bound by the body. Therefore, even though my body was not there, my spirit can tap into information that my body could not have. So the reading I did alluded to a teacher. And it was ironic to me because it was the same card that was used when I was doing a reading on a Tiffany Valiante commenter. A teacher commented and was talking crazy. And I was like, who is this person and why is she commenting? And it alluded, that same card came out. So I'm like, let me clarify this. So then when I clarified it, history came out. And one of the cards just kept saying, history, 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 history. So I looked up the University of Idaho History Department and Rebecca Schofield was on there. She's the first on the page. So I did readings on each one of them. So yeah, I understand. A lot of you are probably thinking, well, can, can I have some context, please? And yeah, you can. So Ashley is in the Book of Life is seemingly a psychic true crime TikToker. And what that really entails is pretty much this person just makes things up and just spews it onto TikTok saying, well, uh, <laughs> the, the big boy upstairs told me about it. You know, uh, it's all blooming true because the big boy said so. Recently, she has dedicated her Christmas holidays to falsely accusing a university professor of, of, of murdering four different people. Falsely accusing. Falsely. She didn't know this person. She never met this person, as far as I know. And she falsely accused this person of a crime that she ultimately did not commit. She gained a lot of popularity from a TikTok with over a million views, which was captioned, Rebecca Schofield is going to prison for murder of four University Idaho students, whether you like it or not. And my friends, based on this caption, you'd probably be thinking to yourself that this, this Rebecca Schofield is probably being investigated right now by the federal police, whatever you want to call them, and is going to court being investigated for heinous, horrific crimes. But it's actually not that. It, it, it's it's not even close to that. So let's get to, into how this person actually found the conclusion that this Rebecca Schofield is going to get sentenced for murder. Did Ashley manage to get hold of some CCTV footage which proved that Rebecca Schofield was the criminal in question? Was there a leaked phone call? Perhaps there was maybe some leaked texts. No, 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 no. None of that is the evidence that is being used with these allegations. No, 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 no. The Evidence is, in fact, tarot cards. Ah! Who is Rebecca Schofield part two? So I asked the spirit, how, how did Rebecca Schofield and Kaylee meet? Rebecca Schofield and Kaylee connected because she needed an advisor. She was about to graduate. She wanted advice on personal growth, the next steps. Also, she needed resolution for anything or anyone that was getting in the way of her ability to graduate. So she went to Rebecca Schofield for advice. So initially, they met on an advisor mentor basis. So then as the relationship progressed, Rebecca Schofield starts dropping cues about her interest in Kaylee, about her books, being primarily about LGBTQ, just planting seeds in her head, just letting her know she's interested in her and also letting her know about her sexuality. During this time period, Rebecca Schofield is in a dreamlike state. She's opened up that passion that she has suppressed for women 
that was in our place and Kaylee. So yes, my friends, the evidence does come from the big man in the sky, from the tarot cards, from the psychic world. <laughs> and it's just horrific because not only are actual victims' names being dragged through the muds, not only are families having to, you know, not only, you know, uh, mourn for their lost ones, but, but they're also having to now deal with this random woman on TikTok saying that, uh, well, you, you know, you, 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 your kids were murdered by this university professor that I've never even spoken to. Not only are they having to deal with that, but they're having to deal with now millions of people talking about this story, and it's just utterly horrific. Pretty much the allegation seems here from Ashley is that this person, Rebecca Schofield, was in a relationship with one of her, I guess, students, this person called Kaylee. And what they're saying here is that, I guess that um, Rebecca Schofield orchestrated a murder because she didn't want Kaylee coming out and speaking about the fact that she had an inappropriate relationship with her, uh, her teacher. But that begs the, you know, the little question of, uh, well, well, who actually is Kaylee in this situation? Uh, my friends, uh, well, it just gets even more horrific because it turns out that Kaylee is one of the victims that had their life tragically taken away from them in this case. This person is no longer with us because some horrific human being murdered them. But what we have here is a TikToker that saw this story, saw that this is was at the time an unsolved case. And, you know, what they thought they would do was uh, take it upon themselves to, uh, you know, solve it themselves by the um, the tarot cards. And I do just want to say a, a, little, uh, a little thing to the people that do actually use tarot cards and believe in spirituality and just in general religion. I don't want this video to seem like an attack on you people. If you do have a sense of spirituality to you, that's... That's absolutely amazing. But with this person, Ashley, I don't believe that she actually is a spiritual person, truly. I think what she is doing here is using tarot cards, spirituality, religion, Jesus, as she references later in this video, as a crutch to get TikTok views. Because she can just say, well, I don't need to provide evidence because the psychic world told me no. No, you do. Because you are ruining the life and reputation of an innocent woman whilst dragging victims' names through the actual mud. It's very clear to me, just based on this person's social media profile, that their brain has just been absolutely warped by social media clicks and views. I don't think they actually care about the views that they like to preach that they care about. And I think this person is just here to exploit victims and use names in the pursuit of social media attention. But ladies and gentlemen, what makes this even more insane is the fact that this person has actually been threatened, or no, is being sued. She is being sued right now by Rebecca Schofield herself for defamation, but she still hasn't stopped posting about this stuff. Because when she received the lawsuit, she started posting about it and basically being all cryptic and, and, and intimidating. And the thing is, when this person actually has seemingly taken a break, because she has now taken a break, she hasn't posted in around five days. And it's a little bit of a coincidence because her last post was on the 30th of December, where she was claiming that Rebecca has been silencing people, which, you know, is, is quite suspicious because what also came out in, in, in the last week? Well, my friends, somebody in the Idaho murder case, which she has been referencing, was actually charged. And shock surprise, it wasn't Rebecca Schofield. Yes, this person right here has pretty much been charged with everything that Ashley has been accusing Rebecca Schofield with in this case, and it's now going to court to see if this person is genuinely guilty or not. But despite that, you know, pretty damning fact, you know, the fact that, oh, uh, Rebecca Schofield wasn't even involved in this case whatsoever, despite all of that, she hasn't taken down the TikToks. There are so many insane posts there. It's not just one or two or three or four or five. There are so many. I think it may even go into the hundreds about this case and none of them have been taken down. It seems that she's incredibly unapologetic. And as I said, her last post was even deliberately cryptic saying that she was, people, people were being silenced. Nobody was being silenced. I think the tarot cards probably just thought to themselves, you, you know what, boys? I, I don't want any part of this anymore. Because there are people out there that do use tarot cards, which don't use them to, you know, 
falsely accuse people of murder for TikTok views. But before we go any further, I do just want to make the request, my friends, of could you please boom and subscribe to the YouTube channel? Because YouTube has been a bit harsh on me recently. Videos have been getting demonetized. The moment I uploaded my previous one, demonetized. One before that, age restricted. One before that, demonetized. So I would really appreciate it if you did just help me out by not only liking this video, because if you want me to do a part two where I go even more in debt, 15,000 likes, but also mainly subscribing. I would really appreciate that. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into pure, utter insanity. University professor sues TikTok sleuth. I don't think I correctly pronounced that word, and my apologies if I did not. Uh, sues TikTok sleuth, who has accused her of killing four students. And in my last video, speaking about shock surprise, another terrible TikToker, I said that, you know, when somebody sues for defamation, in a lot of cases, it does seem like somebody is silencing somebody. Somebody is refusing to allow somebody to get their story out there. But my friends, I also said, not in all cases. And, and yeah. Uh, this seems to be uh, one of those cases because while well, there is no screenshots, there is no phone calls, there is no videos, there is no TikTok lives, it's just the tarot cards told me so. So let's get into this lawsuit. On November 24th, Ashley Gillard, an internet sleuth with over 105,000 followers, posted six videos to her account where she claimed that Rebecca Schofield was responsible for the four deaths. Gillard also said that the professor has been involved in a romantic relationship with one of the victims, Con Calves, and that was the motive. And that's literally the only piece of evidence that this person- it's, well, it's not even evidence, it's just, wow, wow I think this person was, you know, uh, being gay. That's the crime, by ladies and gentlemen. They were being gay with their student. Obviously, teacher having a relationship with student, inappropriate. I, I accept that. But, you know, I can't call it inappropriate when there's no evidence that it happened. None. Literally none. <laughs> the tarot cards told her. Can the tarot cards tell me if I'm going to win the, the, win the lottery this year? Because I'd love to know. I could go down the lottery and, and show them a lottery ticket and say, well, here it is, I've won. And they say, well, numbers aren't, you know, the same as the actual lottery winning numbers. And I say, well, no, 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 lady, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the tarot card said that I'm winning it and I ha I've won it. So give me the money. Can I do that? Probably not. I'm rambling. Let's continue. <laughs> the lawsuit says that Gullard has decided to use the community's pain for her online self-promotion. In one video, which has more than 2.5 million likes, this is why this is a problem. Because 2.5 million likes is a a lot of likes, a lot of attention, and this is obviously going to ruin somebody's reputation and also drag victims' names through the mud because obviously there's no evidence, obviously there's no truth, and it's just quite frankly utterly disgusting. And the fact TikTok allows this on this platform shows how much TikTok do not actually care about people. They'll remove your TikTok if you make a little bit of a joke about Paul Breach, but God, come on, you know, you actually have falsely accused somebody of murder. You know, ruining somebody's reputation. Oh, you can do that, ladies and gentlemen. That's absolutely fine. But don't say something nasty about Paul Snapshot Eye. Because if you do, that's going to be consequences. According to a complaint, Gunnard uses tarot cards and other readings to solve crimes. She claimed to have solved several high-profile cases, including the deaths of Migos rapper, takeoff businesswoman, Shinquella Robinson, and internet personality, Kevin Samuels. We, we, we really just need to ban TikTok. We need to start thinking maybe some legislation needs to come through. Like, uh, you know, freedom of speech and all, but no, 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 no. Not anymore, ladies and gentlemen. You've, you've, you've revoked the privilege of freedom of speech. It's, we're going full uh, 1984, baby, because we can't keep doing this. We, I, I think we, this has been a nice little experiment, this whole social media thing, but sorry, boys, it's over because of people like this. But yes, uh, despite all of this, despite the lawsuit, despite somebody actually being charged, you know, everything's still up. All the allegations still clearly stand. There's not been any retract retraction, which e either way won't actually do anything good in my opinion, because there are so many TikToks that have gone to so many people around the world about this, and so many people probably now think that this innocent person is a murderer. Despite all of that, when asked for evidence, rather than saying, oh, here's my evidence, they, they just basically said, me providing evidence, well, that's just ridiculous. People have been asking me to provide evidence for the statements and allegations that Rebecca Schofield ordered, planned, initiated, and executed the murder of the four University of Idaho students. Although she did not do it with her own hands, like I said, she hired, with a promise to pay in different ways, Jack Decor. 
Now, people have been asking me for evidence, and I think that is the most ridiculous thing that I've heard. Oh, my friend, that's pretty interesting, because you know the most ridiculous thing that I've ever heard is when somebody falsely accused somebody of murder for possibly being gay. And what was their, you know, what was the proof of them being a big old gay boy? It was using the tarot cards. I honestly feel sorry for you if you actually use tarot cards and not because I'm disrespecting your spirituality, but because people like this really, really don't do anything good for the brand. And I say brand like, you know, they're, they're like a Disney corporation, but boy, oh boy, it's, it's not looking good, bruv. But seriously, how how is this even real? This is just purely utterly ridiculous. You're not a law enforcement officer. You're not a criminologist. You're not going into the crime scene. You're a psychic on TikTok, and you're not that. You're not that. You are somebody that bought some cards and said, you know what, I'm going to go around solving crimes. And not because you even care about the families, because if you did care about the families, you wouldn't do this. Because you know that there are insane people out there that bloody love this content. Because, alas, this comes down to the whole true crime aspect of things. And yes, there are some good true crime channels out there. Ultimately, people on the internet are absolutely insane. And what is this insane content which actually caters to shock horror insane people and it's not like in this she's even saying something like oh i believe this to be the case or in my opinion this is the case no she's just like oh no she is the murderer she is going to jail whether you like it or not <laughs> it's like what do you know can, can, can you share these this information with me oh, oh wait no that there isn't any but uh let's continue uh, in the pursuit of actually getting some shed of evidence from this person <laughs> it, it just continuously gets worse and worse a psychic investigator and google it if you don't know what that is job is to lead to guide to a higher understanding to give clarity and it is the law enforcement's job to assess the information that the psychic investigator gave them they have the infrastructure they have the resources to gather and the legal basis to request subpoena whatever evidence i absolutely love this because what she's saying here is it's my job to tell lies and it's the police's job to well, you know, actually tell the truth. And even, even then, they, they struggle at that political content. This has to be one of the most insane things that I've ever seen. But these TikToks, as I said, are getting views. Lots and lots of views and lots and lots of attention. And you may say, well, Fraser, a lot of that attention is negative attention. And I, I agree with you. A lot of it is. But my friends, that doesn't matter. Because what if I just randomly accused your nan of murder, you know? What if I did that? And yeah, millions of people come against me. But ultimately, some poor old dear who's, you know, uh, probably struggling right now. Yeah, cost of living crisis, all can't eat her own. She's now being accused. Of, of being a murderer. She's got millions of people DM. That's not fun. Nobody needs that. Nobody wants that. And just the accusation alone and to be thrown into such a horrific crime, I can imagine is a lot of pressure and probably is life ruining, especially by the fact that, yeah, she is suing this person. So I can imagine it's causing a lot of stress on this person who is being falsely accused. But my friends, it does just continue to get worse and worse. I mean, you're not shocked at this point, let's be real, but it does when she she, uh, again, mentions in, in the name of evidence, says it's ludicrous to suggest that she should give evidence. And in the caption, she's basically saying that she does this all through, through, through Christ. And my friend, I don't even think Big JC's putting his name on this. I think JC's looking down and thinking, I'm all, I'm all, I'm all right. I'll, I'll, I'll go and, you know, maybe get some fish to some people. I, I'm not having my name on this. About me providing evidence to prove that Rebecca Schofield Planned, initiated, executed, and ordered the murder of the four University of Idaho students, part two. It seems to be an impossible task set before me. They're asking me to provide evidence when I don't have the infrastructure to seek the evidence, even if I know that it's there. However, I now have a legal basis to do so and can use that as a means to gather those resources. However, to be asking me for evidence, that's just ludicrous to me. That's just like asking anybody else in the tip line providing the tips that they requested for evidence of their tip. However, with God, with Christ, all things are possible. So we shall see where this goes. I already know. So you shall see. You admit. 
You don't have the infrastructure. You don't have the resources. You don't have anything other than your you, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Sorry, sorry, I shouldn't say that. Other than your, your Pokemon, your, your cards. You don't have anything other than your cards. So maybe don't accuse somebody. You can like, I mean, no, you can't. I was gonna say you can speculate, but you can't. There's not even a shit of evidence to speculate. You said at the beginning, this is just a random woman who your card pointed towards. <laughs> Look, I don't like some people out there, but I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, the the cards told me that they are this terrible. No, no, but you don't even know this person. Stop, please. And look at the person who is actually being charged with the actual murder right now. This guy hasn't technically been found guilty yet, and he is still under investigation in a court proceeding because they've gotten a lot of information, possible forms of evidence, and they are now using it to build a case against this person to then prove him to be guilty. But you are calling somebody guilty and then saying, I'm going to go get the evidence afterwards because I've got the resource. You can't do that can't do that because if we lived this world like that everyone would be in jail i would simply go up to somebody i don't like i'd go up say mate you are a horrific person go to jail and maybe a few years down the line we might look at the evidence but it maybe i know there's not any you know what i'm saying here it just doesn't make any sense i can't go and say poor breach you know uh caused a a, a mass murder in the in the pacific ocean i can't do that and also, it doesn't really make much sense. But neither does your psychic tarot card selling you that, yes, this person is an awful human being. She even uploaded a TikTok of her posting the caption, you sure you want to do this, Rebecca Schofield? This isn't going to end well for you. I mean, what's going to be the resulting action in this? Are you, are you and Rebecca going to have a big scrap and then JC is going to come down with the tarot cards like ninja stars and just throw it at Rebecca? Is it, is it, what is it? Is this a threat? I don't know, I, but I know what this is. Obviously, this TikTok is here to kind of, you know, uh, while she's being sued for actually, um, you know, slandering somebody, it's kind of like the Andrew Tate method. She is basically being like, oh, I am, I'm being accused of all these bad things, guys. And she's kind of got to get ahead of it because when she, you know, actually does lose a lot of money because she was successfully sued for defamation, you know, uh, she's going to now say, I was silenced, silenced by the Matrix, just like a certain bald man. It's a technique which so many people like to do, a bad person knows they've done something bad and to convince their brain dead audience that that bad thing wasn't actually true they will actually admit to the bad thing in a way of saying i'm going to be accused of said bad thing because they know they have done said bad thing in that tiktok she then puts hashtag solving mysterious deaths hashtag solved mysteries hashtag rebecca schofield hashtag deg decor hashtag rebecca did it and not only is she again you know doubling down or triple or drupling down on the fact that Rebecca did it, even though she didn't, she then brings in a other certain name into the fold. Because yes, it's not just one person that was falsely accused in the situation. There is another person. Allow me to introduce to you, Jake. Also, the reason why Jack Decor didn't complete the new job Rebecca Schofield gave him, which is to hurt me, is because he feels like his time is limited. He knows that he's going to be arrested. Why would he spend his time doing that instead of spending time with his family and Murphy. He's literally spending time with Murphy and his family. He feels like Rebecca Schofield is wasting his time. So he's procrastinating because why waste time on me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the evidence she has is, oh, oh, he's gonna get arrested because he's spending time with his family on Christmas Day. Because, you know, people don't spend time with their families on Christmas Day. It's a totally irregular. Look, the only person or thing that this man murdered was his Christmas dinner. Obviously, <laughs> this is utter nonsense once again, but it shows the extent that this woman is willing to go to. To, to make the story somewhat believable, even though it makes it more unbelievable, if she's just throwing accusations, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I was dragged into an ex. Maybe, I've, maybe I'm involved. Maybe I've, you know, uh, been helping out in, in this case. I haven't. I need to clarify before the tarot cards come out, but let, let me, let's get further into this. And when I say further into this, I mean taking a look at the fact that uh, Jack Decor has actually been cleared of the murders. The police chief said in the following news conference on November 20, 2022. Everything that we have taken from those calls, we have followed up on, we have cleared, and we believe there is no connection there. This person was cleared of any wrongdoing or even suspicion. No connection 
but these TikToks still remain, and Jake is a massive part of this person's theory. Because Jake was actually in a nine-year relationship with Kaylee, this dude just probably lost the love of his life, and now he's being falsely accused of the most heinous, horrific thing possible. He's being accused of... I don't even want to say it, but just how devastating this must be for him, to have his name and reputation dragged through the mud, having to deal with the stress of, you know, the crime itself, but now having to deal with this, it's just horrific, and you have to ask this Ashley person, do you have no morals? Because I'm pretty sure spirituality and religion, in some places, a lot of places, is very moral-based. You're meant to treat somebody nicely, I think, in most religions, but this person isn't doing that, and that's why I think they're using spirituality and religion, and in this case, I think Christianity, hence the references to Jesus Christ, as a crutch. They are using spirituality and psychic readings as a way to get clout. But my friends, it just gets even more sick when she gives her reasoning to what she think happened and why she is saying these things. And oh, it's honestly, I'm laughing and joking for it, but it is, the only reason I'm laughing is because it's so uncomfortably sick, and sometimes all you can do is just laugh, because this is just mental. So I was getting the message that Rebecca Schofield and Jack DePool was planning another attack on someone. And so it did seem like, I'm like, are they trying to attack me, was the question. And I think it was a plan to hurt me because I had a dream and it was them two speaking and they were like, she was like, we're gonna have to kill her. But of course, I'm not worried about anything like that because stay ready, you don't have to get ready. But here's my issue. <laughs> the cards depicted the person that they were going to attack as a pregnant woman. So now I'm sitting here like, do I need to take a pregnancy test? She had a, 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 a dream. Her evidence is she a dream and she was so delusional because of her cards that she was gonna take a pregnancy test please please for the love of god seek help seek medical attention hand yourself in because this is just mental i refuse to believe even clout can drive somebody to this point because this is just, what and even if you did have a dream i've got a reason and an understanding to why you're dreaming about these things because you know when you're focused on something quite a lot you typically dream about that thing, you know? When I watch a lot of Pokemon, oh, best believe I'm being beaten up by multiple Pikachus in my nightmares, you know? And, you know, when you focus on your lies and, and, and theories about this horrific uh, story that you've made up, you're probably gonna dream about that because you've convinced yourselves that these things are true. So I wouldn't be surprised if you did dream about that. But a dream isn't reality. As I said, Pikachu likes to kick me in the nutsack during my nightmares. <laughs> but Ryan Reynolds isn't doing that in real life to me, I I'm sorry to say. And yeah, just look at her account. As I've said, it's nothing about anything else other than these people. Of course, this is going to go into her brain while she's sleeping. She is obsessed. She will not leave these people alone, and she will not stop no matter what. And as you heard in the TikTok previously, she says that she thinks these people are trying to kill her. And I'm not an advocate for violence. It sounds like I'm about to propose something very dodgy. I'm not. I'm not saying that any violence should happen here. But I do think she is going to eventually get slapped. I think she is going to get a slap on the wrists because this whole thing right now is you know a, a slander based court case which isn't necessarily a criminal thing but my friends this could very much become a criminal court case what happens if she wouldn't there be some order that she has to stop saying this or could that be a situation or not really i mean if she if she just keeps doubling down let's say there's a judgment against her but she has no money and she keeps pushing the falsehood well, eventually you can get an injunction against it, and then if she defies the injunction, you can get contempt of court, and so eventually it could turn into a criminal offense. Mm, yeah, I, I mean, that's the part that I'm, I'm interested in because she seems to not be stopping, and I am curious about what a trial would look like. What evidence could she present on her side that might be beneficial? I, well, I can't think of anything. There's nothing I've seen in the videos. I mean, as far as I know, it's from tarot cards. And you can sincerely believe your tarot cards, but you are negligent at the least. 
you know, if you think your tarot cards have told you who the murderer is. Yes, as you just heard, this could go criminal and this person could possibly face more repercussions than just a million dollar lawsuit. And I think the moment she realized that, she obviously stopped posting with this very, very cryptic thing. It's not like she could just leave and say, sorry guys, I was wrong. She she had to bail out and be like, oh no, I'm going to make it look like, I'm, I'm going to do the mystery thing. I'm going to pretend that, oh, you know, they may have silenced me or so. It's like, mate, we, we know what you're doing. Like, there there is sole intention here. I refuse to believe that her last TikTok saying that she was silenced is anything other than her trying to convince her brain dead dance that she was indeed silenced. I mean, she even in one TikTok posted like a screenshot of an unknown number calling her saying, now they're calling me. I mean, who's calling you? The creator of the tarot cards? <laughs> they're probably saying, mate, can you please stop? We, we've lost like 50% in sales. Please, for the love of God, Ashley. When this was trying to make a business here. We're trying to live across the living crisis. Inflation, stop doing this. You're probably ruining their business, son. Stop, please. For the love of God, just stop. Oh yeah, I forgot the best part of the reading says that Rebecca Schofield is going to prison whether you like it or not. It says that she's not in control, that you're not in control, that an official person, someone in law enforcement, will be the one giving the orders. This is going to genuinely be one of the most hilarious defamation cases of all time. I hope that this is, is live streamed because I would love to hear her defense. What do you even say? Like, realistically, you can have an entire courtroom laughing at you. It's going to be embarrassed. And congratulations, my friend. Not only have you ruined somebody else's life, multiple people's lives, damaged so many reputations out there, made things so much more difficult for the families of real victims, but you've also ruined your life because there's no way she's going to get away with this I, I just refuse to believe if this person rebecca Schofield, was even guilty of anything i think by now it would have been dragged up because yes these tiktoks have millions of views and nothing has been said she is not going to jail and in my opinion she is a very innocent person what we have here with ashley is somebody that has had their mind and brain warped by social media as i said previously this isn't the only case they've spoken about and it's clear that they are willing to do absolutely anything for clicks and attention and I think TikTok genuinely need to do something about this. I'm not usually one for deplatforming people but when it comes to people who are genuinely dangerous I think TikTok need to take action because this person isn't just putting out you know fun little mystery things without attaching names to it. No, if she was doing that maybe I could somewhat go with it but instead she's attaching real people's names and ruining the lives of people. TikTok, you need to do something about this. It's getting genuinely worrying at this point. And I want to end this video by saying I have nothing but good and respectful wishes to the families involved in this situation. I truly, truly hope that you get the justice that you deserve because these crimes are horrific at the end of the day. They are just devastating. These people are never going to see their loved ones again. And this person, as I said, is taking advantage of that because she wants views. It's just sick. And yeah, thoughts and prayers pretty much just to the people who have lost somebody who they once and still do love. But that is the ending of this video. I understand that did end a bit depressingly. But in cases like this, it is sadly very depressing. Uh, I, I hope you enjoyed it. And there are plenty more TikToks we could go through. And so much more on this person's profile. If this video gets 15,000 likes, I will do that. I will do a part two on this. Because there is so much more I could say. But I kind of want to do a bit of a swift, I know it's not that quick, of a breakdown of everything and what has been accused of in this situation. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please, for the love of God, go watch my my podcast because if you like me debunking silly true crime stuff me and my uh, co-host Aiden did a video on there speaking about crazy stands with certain criminals out there and it will be the next up next thing I would really appreciate it if you went and subscribed to the podcast and actually went and watched and liked that video and commented beans below we're gonna have every week a new episode out very very soon we're starting off the year strong so please for the love of god subscribe to the buddies podcast in the description or it's up next whatever your pick is whatever's easy for you uh social media Instagram, I in the description. Please go follow my Instagram because that app is dead and you cannot grow on there unless you beg. Thank you very much for coming along, everybody. Have a cracking day and please let me know your thoughts below. Peace out and have a great 2023. Bye-bye.